So if the gentleman comes through, come take a seat up on the big chair. Okay. That's fantastic. Well, a typical right. treatment um, from the patient's perspective is very, very simple. We have an extensive initial screening period, an ophthalmic exam, where we gain as much information from the patient as well as by examining their eyes. We do a number of scans. Let's have a look at the other eye. All the information is used. There's nothing that we do here that's redundant. And our main aim is just to ensure that we have optimized every little aspect from a safety point of view, as well as to what we hope to achieve through our findings and obviously our planning. Um, on the day of surgery, we have um, one of the nurses who goes through all their aftercare and treatments. We have a masseuse who spends a bit of time with them as well. Once again, just looking at it from a holistic point of view, we want our patients relaxed on the day of surgery. The treatment itself is very, very easy. Uh, in truth, the patient, and I know this from my own personal experience having had surgery, patient lies back, looks up at a little green flashing light, 20 minutes later it's all done. Uh, we have a recovery area where patients can relax after their treatment and when they're feeling comfortable, normally after about 5 to 10 minutes, they're already welcome to, to go home. Our aftercare is also quite uh, rigorous. We, have a, we see all our patients on day one. Uh, we'll see them again at about two to three weeks, three months, six months, and of course at one year. And uh, we try and stick to those protocols quite strictly um, so as to make sure that our patients are healing on track um, and also from our side so we can gain as much information from them so as we can continuously hone our, our uh, um, outcomes at the end of the day.